Okay, all set to go. Now it's the DH, Jaron Duran, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Clips the corner, and we are underway. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. That one missing inside. Wouldn't chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That one is absolutely belted. DeLuca ranging back. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now. Connor Wong. And he's leading him in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure. And he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. Brings it in. That's out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Rafael Devers in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two outs, space is empty. On the ground. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Rafael Devers with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man at second here with two away. Here's Tyler O'Neill looking for his first big league hit right here. Splits the plate. It's 0-1. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So a two-out double, but they don't score. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. here at Tropicana Field and on the hill Cutter Crawford well he's been a very dependable starter for his club and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side Yandy Diaz, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Ball to strike. That one fouled off. 
Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Who I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's going back. Back some more. Back gone. He sends it out of here. It's one nothing. Two pitches, two swings. That one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So one out, nobody on. Junior Caminero next to hit for the Rays. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Righty to the plate. And that one wrapped foul. Righty delivers. Right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty, and a run in. The Rays leading on the solo homer. Good job to fight that one off. One two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Kicks and deals. Swing it a foul straight back. Left hand batter waits. Out to center. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Rays kick off the scoring with a solo bomb. It's now 1 0. Back now in Tampa Bay, top of the second. And here's the first baseman, Connor Wong. Wong goes six foot one, 190 pounds, and he was a third round pick back in 2017. First offering, and it just misses. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. pitch gets a piece and stays alive
ripped on a line corrals it and there's one down Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox thinking about Yoshida he's never going to be the biggest player when he's on the field but that doesn't mean he can't hit he gets on base and doesn't strike out very often that combo makes you a valuable asset to your club close one doesn't get the call ball two I think he wanted that call on the upper part of the zone but just didn't get it now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed so he can adjust his sights just a little bit pulled hard but it's a foul ball and a pitch and that one is lifted in the air DeLuca racing over to make the catch Trevor Story comes up to the plate you talk about elite defensive players especially in the middle of the diamond and this guy is at the top of the list yeah we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender this one swung on and hit well way back there to the warning track makes the catch we played an inning and a half it's one nothing and we're back bottom of the second stepping in Dylan Carlson Crawford back to work that one ripped right center field on the move and that one hops the wall safe at second with a leadoff double Dylan Carlson with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here so digging in Josh Lowe pitch misses and it's one to know front with the swing and that is strike one Ed Drummond our umpire behind the plate in this one yeah Boogie's a really fair umpire both the pitchers and the hitters so standard strike zone he's consistent with it and the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much so that's a good thing in this day and age runner in scoring position nobody out bottom half of inning number two well struck right field that's back there hits the fence the run comes in from second and they take a two run lead and that's a double so he gets two milestones with that hit his first big league knock and he drives in his first run as well yeah you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat and it makes the special moment even more special it's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team that's an at bat he's never going to forget Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays good defender he's been inconsistent offensively and a pitch and that one fouled off
This one popped up. Gonzalez makes the play, and there's one down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ben Workvet. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. On the ground to third. Throws to first in time. Batting nine, the center fielder, John Ames, Dan Luca. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Johnny DeLuca. That one missed. Clips the corner, and it's a ball to strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Outside low, and it's two and one. And that's down and away. Well, out there on the mound, he's got to go right after this hitter because you don't want to turn this lineup over. This is the guy that you've got to get that final out, get out of this inning. The 3 1. Foul ball there. Low stands at second with two gone. Got him looking. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Rays get an RBI double. And it's two zip. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the third inning. Now it's Jansen in the head. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Right through there for a strike. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Got him. And there's one away. Away, away, away. And clearly, that was the plan right there. He just wasn't able to put it in play. And that should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Down the line. Low ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Up next for the Red Sox. The designated hitter. Jaren. Now batting Jaron Duran. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. The Red Sox trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. To the right side, Lau. The throw to first, and that is the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox, and they're down 2 nothing. Bottom of the inning, and now the DH, Yandi Diaz. And the right hater back to work. Just missed. Just 
just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Top of the zone for a called strike. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Ripped to short. Story sends it over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The batter, number eight, second baseman, Brandon. And now it's Brandon Lau. He's already homered here in this one. Had a good eye there. Liner caught it second. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Two outs, bases empty. Junior Caminero next to hit for the Rays. Right through there for a strike. And a strike on the outside edge. Not close with that one. Now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. And another ball. Stays alive. Still two and two after the foul ball. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Ray's held in check here as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back here at Tropicana Field, out of the fourth, Joe stepping in for Boston, Romy Gonzalez. The wind of the pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Good eye in that spot. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one two. Wouldn't chase that time. Headed towards the corner. Low makes the grab one away. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Doubled in his first A.B. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age.
the 1 1. And a strike to Devers. And it's caught for the out. Quick reactions down there at first, and those can be tougher than they look sometimes. There could be all kinds of weird spin or knuckling action on the baseball. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Red Sox, Tyler O'Neill. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And there's a strike on the outside corner. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. That one a little bit high, and it's one and two. It's a good take. Good eye right there. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail things here, two nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the first baseman, Jonathan Aranda. The wind of the pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Well, these Rays doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Fastball for a strike. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Bounce to the right. Tosses to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. This is Dylan Carlson. One for one with a double and a run score. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. Slapped foul. Way outside. One and two to count. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One down. Base is empty. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Low batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And that one fouled off. Not even close there. And a count one and two.
And that's downstairs and outside. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Payoff pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Caballero stands in now and watches strike one. Low off of first with two away. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One left for Tampa. They're up 2 nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. And stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So... When you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And he deals. That's down and in. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Ripped, but it curls foul. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Way out front for strike two. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. 3-2. Wong checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. That one in the dirt. Ball one. Yoshida, 30 years old now, and he was born in Japan. Just missed. The Red Sox down by a pair, and we're at the top of the fifth. That misses. Three and oh. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Wong, round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He scores, and it's a one-run game. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Here's Trevor Story, fly to right his first time. Fastball for a strike. Man at second. And a swing to miss. 
Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. The shortstop takes the ball. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And here it comes. And another ball. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Danny Jansen to hit here. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. This ball's chopped on the ground. Caminero throws the first in time. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And now the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. And that one fouled off. Man on second, two down. Swung on, belted. That's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Red Sox with an RBI double, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. And we're back. And here's the catcher, Ben Wortvet. Crawford back to work. Just missed. And that one hammered. That's back there. And out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. And they add on. It's 3-1. That's a great way to fire up this crowd. They're feeling it now. No, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Here's a speed threat. Johnny DeLuca struck out looking his first time. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. 0-1. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out. Last half of inning number five. Pitch is in the dirt. And the count even one and one. And a bunt towards third. And it goes just foul. And a 1-2. And another ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Diaz now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. And now the count is even. This one lifted in the air left field. Yoshida tracks it down for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Lau at the plate. He's already homered in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swings through that. The why to kick the pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Got it by him for the K. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now it's the DH, Jaron Duran. The wind and the pitch. That clips the corner. We always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. Left hand hitter waits. There's the swing and a miss. Tapped softly on the ground, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. The 0-2. And there's a ball. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. And that's outside. This one high in the air to left center. Carlson makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now the number two hitter, Romy Gonzalez. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Ah, uh, look out. That fastball drilled him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Man aboard, and here is Devers, one for two. Backdoored him with a breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. You'll 
And he grounds one back up the middle. Flips it from the ground. That's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. No runs, no hits, no errors. Hard of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. Raise three. And the Red Sox won. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. Here's the third baseman, Junior Caminero. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Chris Martin, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Pavetta getting loose as well. That one ripped. Rafaela, long run on his horse. Not there in time. It falls in the gap. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Junior Caminero with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Cutter Crawford out of the game, and it wasn't his best start, but he kept them in it to this point, and will come back with a new arm. New pitcher on here, Nick Pavetta. He's been so good against lefties. So, man aboard, and now Jonathan Aranda. And he grounds one to the right side. Sneaks through, base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Safe. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. So up next, Dylan Carlson. Rudder takes off. Smash to center. Way back. And you can forget it. Home run. He'll circle the bases. His first homer of the year. And they add to their lead. It's 6-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. There was a cutter away. Kind of works like a slider. You've got to stay on it, let it travel a little bit, and then get your arms extended. Really good piece of hitting right there. Now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Pitch is in for a strike, going one. Well, these Rays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. That hits the dirt, and it's one and one. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that's a base hit into left field. 
four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Left field. Yoshida sizing this one up. Yoshida makes the catch. Now batting catcher Ben Man at first. Here's the catcher, Ben Wortvet. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. The 1 0. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. He's in there. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity, not every hitter's capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. Now it's going to be Johnny DeLuca, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, and he just misses. Two on, one out. Fought off foul. Now a check swing at the 1-1. One, one. Look down to first. Didn't go. Low on third. Rortvet at first. One gone. Fouled off. He was late. pitch swings and misses slider got him for a strike three well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight I mean finding all the holes in his swing and his approach just frustrating for him up there you strike out a guy three times in a game I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach figure out how they're beating him make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry next offering misses down and away Swings through that one out in front that time. Two on, two outs. And he hits a ground ball right side. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Tropicana Field, top of inning number seven. And now here is Tyler O'Neill. The pitch. That one misses. Ball one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Tyler O'Neill with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but. It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here.
Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. He's 0 for 1. Line drive. Jumps, but it's off his glove. He decides to eat it, and that leaves him with runners at first and third after a tricky play. Connor Wong with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So they're at the corners now. Masataka Yoshida, the next to hit. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Hit on the ground to the right side. Base hit and a run comes in. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's Trevor Story now. Jack Swing went around. That's strike one. The Red Sox trying to get back into this one here at the top half of inning number seven. Swings and misses. 0-2. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. The shortstop takes the ball. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And the righty deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. No outs, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. Danny Jansen up next for the Red Sox. Outside. Next offering is fouled back. One out. Runners at first and second. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. His first homer of the year, it's 6-5. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Taj Bradley departs, and he really had to grind it out, but he does lead with the lead. New arm of the mound in a moment.
Now on the mound for the Rays, Ryan Pepio. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Base is empty one away. So stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Four runs already in the frame as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Richard Lovelady, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Sulser also throwing. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one at 95 missed up top. Two and one. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Rortbeck snags it for the second out. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. Swing and a miss. Just missed. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Into the dive and he got it. We take another look at that great catch on this turf field. You really have to be sure because there is no forgiveness. He sacrificed. It's going to hurt, but it was totally worth it. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Chris Martin. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. One for three. Here comes a pitch. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's back there. See you later. That was blasted to the moon. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-5. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, but he squared it up and knew it was gone. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Junior Caminero. And a foul ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Oh, one now. That one catches the corner for a strike. And there's a fly ball deep right field. O'Neill going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now that first baseman, Jonathan. Jonathan Aranda digs in now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. To the right side. 
and he takes it himself for the out. The left fielder, number 10, Gillen Carlson. And that is in for a strike. 1 1. Foul ball. One run across in the frame so far. Here, the bottom of the seven. Next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Lifted in the air right center field. O'Neill drifts towards it. Hauls it in to end the inning. Solo homer extends the lead for Tampa Bay. It's now 7-5. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now in Tampa Bay. New inning getting started. And now Romy Gonzalez. Pepio, a 6'3 righty, 215 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Edwin Uceta, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. And a pitch. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Kicks and fires. And strike two. And now two and two. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two strike pitch. The 2-2. Two -two. Slice to right and foul ball. Righty to the plate. On the ground right side into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Romy Gonzalez with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Pitching change here, Richard Lovelady. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Rafael Devers up to hit. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Love Lady. Keeping him close. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And fouled off. With the tying run at the plate. And we're in the top of the eighth. There's the strike. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The tying run at the plate. Struck him out looking. 
Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Now it's the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Now this is in the air down the line, and that's a foul ball. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Got him swinging. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. First pitch misses. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Kicks and deals. There's a swing and a drive. And that should be extra bases. Gonzalez rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and they trail by one. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And in scored position with two away. And next for the Red Sox, Masataka Yoshida. Right through there for a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Red Sox with a chance to tie it up. That's down and in. A slider missed. And a count one and two. And another ball. Popped up. And that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 7-6 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Greg Weiser. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And now the right fielder, Josh Lowe. The right fielder. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Yeah. 
So man aboard Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. First pitch just misses. Man at second. And there's a foul ball. Rip to third. He steps on the bag. Quick recovery from the misplay pays off for the out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ben Workvet, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That misses the zone. One and oh. Bounce to the right side, and that one handled over to first, and that's an out. Now Johnny DeLuca now at the plate. The bottom of the order here, Boog, you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Started to swing, held up. Two outs. That one drilled left field. Yoshida makes the catch. And that will end the inning. The Rays strand just the one. They'll try and hold on to their 7-6 lead. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Edwin Uceta. A chance at his first save of the year. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Rob Ref Snyder. Well, last chance for him here, hoping he can be a catalyst for some type of ninth inning comeback. And the pitch. Just missed. Pitch misses there, and it's 2 and 0. And delivers outside. Danny Jansen waiting for a turn at the plate. The 3 1. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Substitution now at first base, and on to run for the Red Sox, number 75. Now the catcher up to hit, Danny Jansen. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. And that one fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Got him looking. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. Sedane Rafaela getting ready to hit. Rafaela. 
swing and a tapper that rolls foul. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And that's in there at the knees. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. At the belt and fires. That one close. Ruled a ball. And yeah, the count one and two. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Only one out left for the Red Sox. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. So they're down to their final out. And now it's going to be Jaron Duran. Out towards left center. Sizes this one up. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays strand the tying run on base to win it. Bradley with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.